Okay, so one last thing about firewalls I want to talk about is what is called this demilitarized zone networks. You might have heard of this called DMZ network. Uh, so the idea behind a DMZ network is this. So you have some servers running in your network that are typically accessed from outside and they do not store much uh, confidential information like email server, web server, the domain name server and all these things uh, which may not store a lot of confidential information and are typically accessed more from outside rather from inside. They may be accessed from inside by the client machines in the network also. Uh, then there may be some servers like the application database servers and your workstations that are uh, accessed more inside within the network and accessed by the machines within the network. Now, so what you could do is this, so you could put all your servers in one network and kind of expose them to the outside world. So this is where the internet is, so uh, a packet coming from the internet passes through a, uh, what's called a front end firewall and after it passes through the front end firewall it could access the DMC network. So you really have this firewall to protect the servers but again they are exposed to the outside internet uh, more uh, openly compared to this servers that are well protected inside because in order to reach these servers the application database servers which may store confidential information the packets have to go through another firewall called the backend firewall before uh, it could reach this protected network so why this design is preferred is again for two reasons uh, even the genuine packets coming from the internet do not have to traverse through your entire network uh, so they do not reach all these servers they will just reach the uh, web server whatever servers they want to access get processed and all communication can come in and go outside just to this front end firewall uh, so that way uh, you reduce the traffic reaching your internal protected network. Not only that, if at all an attack can happen, uh, the servers running on a DMZ network will, uh, what they say, bore the brunt of the attack in the sense that they will be the first set of machines that will face the attack. So once you see that your DMZ network is attacked, uh, you could really make this backend firewall to block all the packets uh, uh, from penetrating further in and uh, just uh, you know shut down your network basically but the uh, uh, internal network is not going to be much affected if you have an outer DMC network that will first face the attack okay and uh, again if you uh, if such an attack happens again you're not going to lose much you're going to lose something but you're not going to lose much of the confidential information and also you're only putting a very few machines the server machines outside so your network will be down for some time but you are trying to reduce the damage by putting out this dmc network that will be kind of vulnerable to an attack compared to your internal protected network that is really need uh, will need to be protected from an attack okay so that's the idea behind a ZM DMC network and so that way here so one thing you can also see is here you can use two firewalls in a sequence so this could be a packet filter firewall that will allow a lot of packets coming from outside and reach the DMC network and this is where you could run your stateful firewall or your application firewall that would filter the packets going to the internal protected network. So you will again limit the number of packets le leading to your internal protected network so that you are not exhausting the bandwidth and all those things. Alright, so with this we finish the topic on firewalls. So let us take a short break for, let me see. Uh, so we will come back at uh, 7.50, another 10 minutes and we'll finish this remaining uh, topic on intuition detection system so it won't take more than 30 minutes or less than that so we'll finish that and with that we'll finish the syllabus so let us meet at 750